Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. I'm excited to try these Molecule Sport um, handguards. They're kind of open-ended ones. Uh, the ones that came on the uh, KTM 300 XCW are fine. They just kind of bolt on to, you know, this this perch area here. They don't go to the to the handlebar. So and they're plastic, but they're they're pretty strong. I've I've laid the bike over lightly a few times and they didn't break. So I feel like they, for most circumstances would probably work but um sometimes where i ride in the pacific northwest there's trees and things get narrow and whereas these could catch i was looking for something a little narrower that might deflect i feel like these other things might deflect a little better so um, i'm going with these molecule hand guards i'm going to give them a try but again i haven't had any problems with these they seem to work fine uh, i do, do like i'm just used to the open handlebars being able to get out a little easier but I haven't had any trouble with these. I want to make that clear. So not something you need to do, but I think this these Molecule handguards could be a good option. So these handguards are super easy to install and assemble. They come with four screws per side to obviously go in there to fix them to your handlebar, to go here to put the handguard on the, um, on the bracket, there's a short screw and a long screw. The short screw is going to go here for obvious reasons. It doesn't burst through the back. And the longer screw goes here. And then it's just a matter of uh, putting these on. The only thing that I can see that you'll have to do is create a space um, for them to mount. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go on this side or this side. My guess is I'm going to go here. And then likewise over here. Uh, probably need to move this in to put the bracket here, but but we'll see. Um, another advantage is you can put the little rubber goodies back on your, your handles. In Oregon, it's wet and rainy, and with these hand guards that came from KTM, you can't use the little rubber goodies that come with your bike because of this, and, and for me, keeping dirt and grime is, is a plus. So that was that's another kind of reason I'm, I'm doing this modification is to be able to get the rubber protective cover on, on my brake lever to protect from water and dirt and mud. Since this bike comes with um, open-ended grips, I did buy some Cycra kind of little basically ends that go, um, plugs that go in the end of this, this handlebar. But if you didn't have this, if you already, if you have closed style grips already, you don't need to purchase these. Um, I just wanted to make sure I finished, had a finished look and my handlebars were closed off. And these are just Cycra um, grip armor bar ends. There's lots of ones you can buy. Um, just kind of go with your your preference. Lots of manufacturers. But I like these. They were orange. Also make sure you find your um, little rubber goodies that came with your bike. Uh, usually be in a sack and um, that came with the bike. And then these shorter bolts because the longer bolts go on the perches that, that come on the bike. So now it's just a matter of taking these hand guards off. We're going to take the perch bolt out, put the shorter bolt in I just showed you, and we'll take this out and put the little um, caps in the end, and then we'll just kind of shift things around to accommodate the brackets for our new hand guards. So here I am removing this bolt, and then I'll put the, um, after I've removed this hand guard, I'll put this thicker one in, but be sure to grease this bolt um, with some quality grease because it is a pivot point. Um, grease it up before you put it in. If you unscrew this, um, hand guard all the way like I did. You'll need a pick or something just to pull out this other piece and it comes out pretty easy. It'll just slide on out and you can just pull it out and um, I would just replace it on here so you always have it and don't lose track of it in case you want to go back. So now I have this pivot bolt lubed up really good ready to go in. So here it is. I put the little rubber protective um, rubber goodie on here after putting the nut on the bottom of that bolt. I did have to cut a zip tie here where this attaches, um, but I just, you know, re-zip tied that so that stays secured. And uh, now we'll go ahead and put our little plug in the end and then we'll kind of see how we need to orient this to get the molecule handguard to fit on there. And these just go on like so with uh, the end, the expandable part of the bushing, a washer, and then the color of your choice. And then you just kind of um, put this in your end of your handlebar and tighten that up. And then you have something to protect, protect the end of your throttle tube when you go down. 
I was having a little trouble getting this to catch on that um, inside of the handlebar, so I just grabbed this with a needle nose pliers and got it to where it's roughly the size of that handlebar. Now I'm just gonna tap this in and then I'll just keep tightening up that end to get it to be secured there. To be clear, I just barely got this to engage when I snug this up with the needle nose, just barely, so I could tap it in lightly. I just took a, a little plastic hammer. I didn't wanna damage anything, a dead blow hammer, so I just lightly tapped it in. And now I can go back to um, finishing the job and just snugging this up because it's biting on the inside of that handlebar now. So far, so good. Um, I think what'll work best on this situation is to loosen these up, scoot this down a tad, scoot this down a tad. And I'm gonna try putting the bracket in here between the throttle tube and the um, start kill switch to see how that looks. So I got half half of this side installed, so I thought it might be a good time to look at the differences. Um, I really like these so far. Um, they're very adjustable. So here's the um, installed side, obviously. Here's the uninstalled side. I like how now I can adjust the um, this independent of, of my levers. Before, the adjustment of this was tied to the levers. And you can move this um, up, down, um, in and out. For example, I just loosen these up. There's a little adjustability there. So I wanted this in just a little bit so that it's not as likely to catch on trees and branches where we ride there's a lot of foliage. And I was able to do that. I just loosened this and was able to move it independent of the, of the bracket up here so I didn't have to reconfigure this. And how I have the throttle side is um, it worked out great. I can still reach this. I have short hand fingers so I was worried I might not be able to get to my front brake. No, I'm fine. And then I put the, you know, you have the throttle, the bracket, kill switch, and then just the perch for the front brake. So that's how I put those on there. And, you know, compared to the other side, that's how that looks. And, and the stock setup is, is very clean, so nothing wrong with that. But now I've got the rubber, rubber goodie on there. But once again, just comparing to the other side, there you have it. You can kind of just take a moment and... And, and look at that. I like the looks of the molecule ones better. Um, so let's let's go ahead and do the clutch side. So here it is. I removed the bolt here, put the new one in, put the nut on the bottom, tightened it down. Um, now I'm just gonna put the little rubber protective goodie on and then I'll put my Sycra bar end in the end there and then we'll uh, get the hand guards on. So here we are at the midpoint, got the little rubber goodie on, have our Sycra kind of bar end on, and then let's put the hand guards on. Just a footnote, I put this Bulletproof Designs um, chain guide guard on, that thing is slick. It comes with two new bolts, you just take two bolts out, throw it on, put the new bolts in they give you, and it is, I just think it's really nice. So on this side, um, I think this will go on pretty pretty easily. I'm going to try moving my map switch switch over and then just putting the bracket right here, but um, we'll, we'll see how this works out. You might, another option would be to move this switch outside over here and then put the bracket in here and slide this in if you want more clutch exposed. So this was super easy to mount on this side. I just moved this switch in a little bit and I didn't have to move my clutch perch at all. It's just a matter of moving the switch over and putting it on. These are really thin. They'll fit the bracket for the handguards will are thin. They'll fit almost anywhere. And then I just have them to where they're close to, but not hitting the respective clutch or brake lever. And then if we come around to the front, um, that's what it's looking like now. So um, I like it. Um, I like the way they look. I like the way they function. And then um, and now we can still move this in a little bit if we want to. There's some adjustability there, just like on the other side. Um, so there you have it. Very easy to install. Still have open um, hand guards. We have protection of our ends. And from the cockpit, that's what they look like. I like that open feel. So from the cockpit, here's how this looks. It's giving plenty of coverage, and I have this slid in right now, so it's less likely to catch a tree. I just wanted it to be flush with this, 
and then of course the lever in. So I mean, it turned out really clean. I was worried, I, I, I hesitated on the, on the installation for a while. I kind of stalled because I didn't want to mess up my controls, but it, it didn't. And it actually will give you more adjustability as to where this handguard ends up and then where you can put your levers and things. So um, here's the other side, how that, how that looks, how that worked out. Um, perfect. You can easily get that front brake with one or two fingers or more if you wanted to. I just prefer this being open. I haven't had an incident yet of catching myself where I couldn't get out, but I think, you know, that's a whole nother video whether that can or can't happen. Um, there are situations where probably a wrap around the end is preferable, but for the kind of trails and things I do, this, this will, I have a feeling this is going to work fine. And this is very strong. So this will, I couldn't imagine you would break your lever with an impact using these. I tighten this up tight and then I kept these just moderately tight so that if I did happen to have an impact this won't move but my lever could um, and I did the same thing on the other side I tightened up the bracket pretty snug and you know kept these just just moderately snug so that they could shift around if they needed to in an impact so there's what it looks like from the cockpit it gives you that nice open feel which which I have to admit I, th I think I prefer that it's what I'm used to I guess Oh, just a footnote. This little thumb screw is awesome for the seat. I could remove my seat out in the field. Um, Taco Moto sells these. I mean, if it's like, I don't know what it was, $8 or something. Maybe, maybe it was five. I'm not sure, but it was that way. If you're out in the field, you can remove your seat. So that's just a, a cool little perk there. Um, doesn't get in the way of <clears throat> when you're riding. I, I've never felt it. So one last view. Um, they look like they go on there. I'm not sponsored by Molecule um, in any way, shape, or form. Um, I think it looks great on the 300 and KTM 300 XCW. Um, I liked it enough. I went ahead and put their, their sticker on there on my headlight. And I think they look good. I think they're functional. I think they're going to work. Um, so definitely worth look, looking at. They come in different colors. I like them so much, it's going to be hard not to want to put them on the Husky. The OEM ones kind of look like weak sauce next to, next to the Molecule handguards. So definitely something to consider. And look, better coverage too. Look at those side-by-side -side comparison. All right, keep riding. Good time to work on your bike is uh, when in these winter months it's cool and wet out there. Maybe get some of those upgrades done that you're wanting to do and keep riding when you can. Be well. Oh, one last thing. I don't think these were expensive. I think they were like $99 for the entire kit. So um, I did have to pay a little extra for these little ends that went on the end of the bar. But um, the kit, the Molecule kit, I think it was a hundred bucks. I mean, that's that's quite the value. I, I got them from Jeff Slavin's Racing, but I think you can get these at a number of sites, including Molecule. Um, Taco Moto might get, probably has them too, but yeah, good product. I recommend, and I'll do a ride and review video when we're not snowed out anymore. Sorry to keep adding to this video. Um, stay tuned. I have a, um, a kit coming for this, um, two stroke performance, um, reflash module and uh, two stroke performance, medium compression head to put on this. We run at sea level here and just above. So medium compression seemed like the way to go for, for me um, and so I'll be doing I'm going to do the um, two-stroke performance ECU reflash first see if that can get this has a little bit of a hesitation when I get between mid-range and uh, you know higher rpms uh, I'm going to see if it helps that but and you know so I'm going to do it in two stages first the ECU flash and then second I'll do the two-stroke performance um, medium compression head so I'm going to do it in two stages so that I can kind of let you guys know what's doing what rather than doing it all at once then I won't be able to tell you which was the medium compression change and which was the um, the uh, the ECU reflash so um, stay tuned I'll, I'll let you we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do those um, I think the ECU reflash module should be here this week